What's up, Vinyl Community? It's Robert Fithin. I, I thought I was probably not going to make another MoFi-related uh, video, but this is just... I, I, this will probably be my last one. I'm going to make it really, really quick. Uh, if you've seen Mike from Hubtoons, his video, he actually spoke to an executive from MoFi on the phone, talked to him personally. This is the, the channel's called Hubtoons. The guy's name is Mike. Uh, he, great video. He really goes into detail about his conversations. Nice enough to reveal all of that. One thing was that MoFi said they were going to start being more uh, transparent and more open about their process on their website. You'd be able to go to their website and check out, you know, what, if this has a digital link in it or whatever. So I've been doing that. I've been going there. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, they st the information starts appearing on the website. So it looks like they're really going to do this, right? So mostly it's expected, it's what you'd expected. It's the, the, the 256 DSD files are in the links of all the one steps. You know, a lot of the uh, older stuff uh, hasn't been updated or whatever, but they did do the, a lot of the one steps. And it turns out that they're not even using some of the highest resolution they could have used on some of the one steps. These are the $125 single disc releases. The Miles Davis Sketches of Spain, the Miles Davis Bitches Brew is like a 64 DSD. Now, I'm sure it still sounds wonderful to most ears, um, and I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Uh, but you know, the lower the number, the lower the quality. It's like an MP3, you know, but my whole point though, again, is these audio files, these digital hating audio files, not all audio files, these self-proclaimed digital hating audio files that they can spot digital from a mile away. They can tell this digital. Now they've been getting fooled, especially the jazz ones, uh, that it wasn't even the highest resolution digital. It was like a lower thing that they can master. You know, it's like a SACD, basically. So I just thought it was... This is just getting better and better. What are we... What next? The source was like an eight-track tape, and that's why the song fades out in the middle. I don't know. But um, I just... Again, my whole point, because I, I appreciate all the comments. I love the comments about my first two videos about this, where I was saying, you know, let's all just bring down the bullshit. Let's start being a little less bullshit-oriented. These, these digital hating uh, audio files have been exposed now. Nobody can tell digital just by their ear. That's, that's known now. That's out there. That ship has sailed, saying that you can do that because you've been fooled now for over a decade. And now we find out it's not even the highest resolution. It's like a, it's like a lower cal caliber. So I would, I would uh, suggest that you go to the MoFi website. Not everything is updated. <clears throat> um, they don't have like the James Taylor one. They don't have a couple of others, I think... Um, they don't have any of the information for the new Van Halens that are coming out, which I thought was interesting because it's it's nice to go and see something you've already purchased and be like, oh, well, now I know how it was made. But it's another thing to make a decision whether you want to purchase something. So no uh, no info on those Van Halen uh, one steps that are coming out, which, by the way, why is it a, it, it's a two it's a two step? <laughs> But anyway, that's been my point with the other videos. I have been getting some comments saying that your video misses the point or you don't get the point because it's all about how M Mobile Fidelity lied to people. Okay, well, that's a point. It's a good point. And a lot of people have made that point in, in 38 videos. My point has always been, since my first one, it's just fun to sit back and watch as the bullshit decreases. Uh, these people that hate digital, make fun of people, put down people that have a digital album. Uh, you know, now that's been exposed as you cannot tell because otherwise people would have known before this. Right. So that's, that's been my whole point. It, it, it's kind of like, it's my video. So I kind of made my own point. Um, I don't, I don't get the comments that say you missed the point or that's not the point. I think maybe those comments are probably from these digital hating audio files who are now trying to pivot the conversation, but this is such a multifaceted thing. It has many points, many little thorny things to walk through. And uh, if there's a reason, I will give you some sort of other video. But um, I think this is, I mean, obviously there's a million of these videos out now and, and you're probably getting tired of it. But I just had to get get that out there that, you know, now I've been going to the website, I've been checking it out and some of the albums, uh, the one steps even are not even the highest uh, resolution they could have been. Again, doesn't matter to me. I probably couldn't tell. I, like I would talked about my rock and roll ears. But um, again, just kind of funny for the people who supposedly could sniff out digital from a mile away like a bloodhound. I'm Robert Fithin. Uh, thanks again for watching.